revolution in many scientific disciplines has already started by pushing and expanding boundaries of research into interdisciplinary areas. My research, microbiome science, for diagnostic and therapeutic approaches of for widespread health-related problems is not an exception. It has brought together fundamentals of molecular biology, biochemistry, data science, nanotechnology, and medicine to answer fundamental questions and take it one step further and design and develop novel diagnostic and therapeutic approaches by integration of microbiome, proteomics, and nanotechnology. My name is Seti De Parkour, an assistant professor in the School of Engineering, University of British Columbia. My general fields of expertise fall in biomedical engineering, microbiome science, biotechnology, bioinformatics, and machine learning for healthcare applications. In particular, my fundamental research interest is to understand how human microbiome can affect health and disease, and how microorganisms interact with the environment, with each other, and with their hosts. I'm translating basic microbiome discoveries into applications ranging from bioengineering and biomaterials to medicine. As you know, opioid abuse remains a serious problem worldwide. My research, in collaboration with great scientists around the globe, aims to develop a practical platform for the identification of patients who may be vulnerable to addiction after using opioid drugs. We also aim to understand the mechanistic causal effect of gut microbiome in addiction development. Result of this research can ultimately help us to think of new treatment strategies based on human microbiome. For the first time, we are bringing together microbiome science, nanomedicine, and drug abuse experts to provide a unique capacity for both predictive and therapeutic approaches in opioid dependency and addiction. I think the proposed interdisciplinary research will result in a breakthrough device to the medical community for identification of at risk people in opioid drug addiction. My research will provide opportunities for the development of new drugs to prevent drug abuse disease. I'm passionate about this research because it can help those individuals who need opioid for their treatments not to get addicted or dependent. <laughs>